I hope you're doing well. I recently shared in a video, you know, a couple of videos, touched on things like anxiety, stress, overwhelm. And I shared some inquiry questions you know, that you can practice asking. I hope, you know, if you're watching this, that you've had a chance to practice. Uh, I'd love to know, I'd love to know how it's going for you if you are. And the three that um, are kind of foundational for me that I come back to a lot, there's, there's hundreds of questions we can use for inquiry. But some that are foundational, at least to me. And um, those three, which I shared in the previous video, were you know, when we're, when we're feeling anxious or when we're feeling stressed or overwhelmed or whatever. Then we can ask ourselves, what am I focused on right now? And the focus will typically be on things like, you know, what if scenarios, what if this goes wrong, what if that goes wrong? Or if it's stress, it might be, you know, a focus on a thousand one things, never really being available for what's happening right now. Depression is often, but not always, often the focus is, again, these are generalizations, just, just examples, but... Um, the focus is often on the past and what did or didn't happen or what's missing presently that can be projected onto the future too. So focus is where we place our attention when we're feeling what we're, what we're feeling. And the second question I gave is what meaning am I giving this particular situation or circumstance or relationship? The meaning being kind of what we're telling ourselves about it, the narrative, you know, just the parts we're aware of, but the deeper parts too that we're not aware of. We need to uncover that as well. And the third question, so the meaning might be, for instance, you know, let's say it's anxiety, I should probably give an example. Um, anxiety could be, the meaning could be, I don't know what to do, or I can't do it or it's not working or it's not going to work something like that it's a it's kind of a statement that we don't realize we keep coming back to over and over and over again and then the third question was what paths of action are available to me right now and you know that those actions might be very simple it could be like a phone call it could be a breathing pattern maybe that I've shared with you or you gain somewhere else. It could be a walk, it could be a bath, it could be a meditation, it could be somebody you need to talk to, it could be anything. There might be several paths of action. So those three questions are foundational, but I wanted to expand a little, little bit on the second one for you. Um, another question you can ask when you're working with meaning. And when, when you're working with these um, what we call, what we can call reactive emotions, anxiety, stress, overwhelm, frustration, agitation, irritation, anger, things like that. None of these are negative. There's not really any such thing as a negative emotion. They're just emotions. They may not be pleasant, but as we learn to navigate the narrative that we have, the reasons we we're telling ourselves for why we feel, why we're feeling what we're feeling. So as we learn to unravel that narrative, and we learn to develop the felt sense that I talked about in a previous video, to feel it in our body. Then a couple of things happen. We become less and less reactive. And we actually experience a, a richer and more vast um, emotional life. It becomes a rich tapestry for us. And we get to the point where we don't really, we stop minding what's going on inside of us. For the most part, you know, there's still going to be some reactions here and there, but again, they get fewer and fewer and fewer, but the emotional, the emotions get actually much richer, mu much richer, much deeper. And so with the meaning, so with, with the second question, the meaning, you can ask to help uncover the meaning. You can ask, what must I believe in order to feel so anxious? What must I believe in order to feel so stressed out right now? What must I believe in order, in order to feel so depressed? 
And then you can take that belief and begin to work with it to unravel it, to process the emotions associated with it, and to meet the underlying need underneath that. So these are the other parts to, these, to this process overall. And it's always different what comes, but as, as we unravel these things. And then from there, the actions that you decide on become much clearer, much more powerful, much more empowering, but also much more spontaneous and natural. It's almost like you get to kind of, you know, observe these things happening through you. There's a flow to them when we, when we can go deep enough into this process. So again, questions that you can ask yourself, inquiry questions to help unravel the narrative so you can actually just feel the emotion and thereby process it, get to the need underneath it, meet that need, and then and then there's an integration process, basically. But questions you can ask, foundational questions. Number one, what am I focused on right now? Number two, what meaning am I giving this? And number three, now, um, what must I believe to feel whatever it is I'm feeling? And then number four, what paths of action are available to me? Now, if, you, if you're working on this and you're trying this out and you'd like some help, you know, going deeper into the beliefs, going into the emotions, uh, integrating all of this, I'd be happy to help. You can reach out, you know, send me a message and we can set up a time to talk. Um, anyway, beyond that, I hope you're doing well and uh, I hope this benefits you.